YouTube user Zeke the Antique Freak here. The same old 642B Bobcat with the Mitsubishi 4G32 engine in it to get a little gas pot. Uh, I'm going to do a final tune up on it. I've got it running and uh, so I'm going to check with an old timing uh, dwell tack. So I want to have uh, 52 degrees of dwell angle on this one. The point gap calls for 18 to 21 and that should uh, that should give that dwell angle. So you would set the dwell and the point gap before setting the timing because uh, the timing will not affect the dwell but the dwell will affect the timing. So to check static timing I'll take the hose off of the vacuum advance, uh, plug it, run it and I've got the mark set here I'll get a little light. I've t taken yellow paint and I've, uh, I've marked the on there so that I can see. So I've got five degrees there and I want to have the light move that bolt, rotate the distributor after the dwell is set and the point gap. Then uh, we'll be able to get this all set here properly. So the once you rev it up it should come to 10 degrees of centrifugal advance. That would be the flyweights inside the distributor. Should bring bring the marks with the timing light uh, to 10 degrees which is there or 10 degrees more and then you can check the vacuum advance later because you'll be able to see if uh, if different throttle positions change the uh, change the marks obviously keeping the cables out of the belts and whatever so so this gets clamped onto number one spark plug wire and then you've got positive and negative and this one has an advance so you could set this unit here at five degrees and then the marks would show up at uh, at zero on the scale here. So I've made things easier for myself in the future. I've uh, taken and marked the rotation is looking at the distributor at the cap end is clockwise and I've marked on the cap where the wires go and I've marked the wires with these little uh, electrician tapes here as to which wire is who. Obviously one at the front and the firing order is 1342. Anyway, Zeke the Antique Freak over and out.